Hi, I'm Drew with CleanCore here. Um, thanks for purchasing your CleanCore 3.0. We just want to give you a quick tip on how to hang it. This here's the stuff you're going to need to get started. Um, just take your box, take a knife, open him up. Okay, so inside we've got our quick start guide. This will help outline the steps in this video to uh, hanging this on the wall. First thing you're going to want to do is pull your stuff out, set it off to the side. You've got uh, your air dryers, your cord, and your uh, mounts right here. Inside we also have stickers for your spray bottles, so don't lose those. You're going to need them. All right, so let's start with the template. First thing you want to do is open this up and hang it on the wall. Make sure you use your template, otherwise your wall is going to look like our wall. As you can see, we have a bunch of random holes here. So take your template, lay it up. So now that I've got uh, the holes drilled, just pop in your uh, your anchors. Now I put the screws in with the washers into those holes. You see, what I do is I put it in, leave about a half inch out to allow the back of the box to slide into. So from here we'll grab the box. Okay, now that you've got the screws on the wall, next thing you want to do is pull a unit out of the box. It's already going to come with the hoses already mounted on for you. The other thing that we do is we remove the cap on the filter. So make sure when you get here, this allows it to drain out. So when you get your box, make sure you put this screen filter on. Then you can see here, you just pull the foam pieces off the side. The hoses are already attached. The other thing you're going to want to do is when you attach the hoses, is to install the pressure regulator. There'll be a pressure regulator that comes with each one of these. All right, now on the back side, you'll see the whole pattern matches what we put on the wall. We'll take the unit and we'll mount it on the wall. Okay, now that you've got your box secured to the wall, next thing you want to do is mount your pressure regulator onto your blue hose. The reason we have the pressure regulator is to ensure that we have 50 PSI on the box. Too much and you'll start blowing the seals out on your filter here and it also changes the dynamic inside the box. So we want to make sure that we always have our pressure regulator on. Take it up to your garden hose connection here. Just spin it right on and you're good to go. Next thing you want to do is we'll just cut the zip ties on our fill side. And hang our hose on the wall. We have the quick clip right here, ready for your hose to hang on the wall. All right, next step is to uh, put the plug in. First thing you want to do is take the bubble wrap off, and then go ahead and push the reset, reset button on it so you know it's good to go. You plug it in, G-plug there. Plug it in the wall. Do it one more time just to make sure. And then go ahead, turn your system on. Okay, and the next step is to insert your air dryer. Your air dryer is going to come in a pack like this or in a silver mylar bag. We'll open these up. Inside, you're going to see that there's a, uh, a red seal in there. Just depending upon your environment, you may need to, if the dryer starts to slip out on you, just go ahead and change it out. We put it in there. And then, uh, what you do is you notice on there that we have the month and the date on there. So we're just going to go ahead and circle that and mark that so we know when we put the dryer in. And the technique is real simple. You just slide it up in. And now your system's ready to go. Okay, so now that we have the box mounted on there, let's go ahead and we'll turn the water on. And we'll come over here and we will... Uh, go ahead and start it up. The switch right here is your on off switch, so I'll just take it over. 
we will, away we go. And this is what it should look like. Um, now that you're ready to go, you can go ahead and fill up your spray bottle with it. If you don't have the Clean Core brand labels or spray bottles, we also have secondary labels that'll come uh, inside your box. And if you're not going to use it for that, you can go ahead and fill up your mop.